you know, we were sitting there painting the mural. We had a couple cops come up, and then right in the middle of the conversation, all of a sudden, their little intercom goes off, and it's like, shots fired, shots fired. Apparently, three people got shot right down the street. Fucking people setting cars on fire while we were there. The building next to us had, you know, the, the signage was all busted and letters were falling down. It's not the best area of town. After just three days, the mural began to take shape, but so did the opinions of the community. It's a great piece of art. This young lady shouldn't be selling porn. For a state with such a rich history of tolerance and open-mindedness, the outrage was surprising. The controversy had went viral. It was reported on news sites across the world, and locally on CBS 6. Thanks for joining us at 5.30. I'm Rob Bezier. And I'm Julie Braggs. CBS 6 viewers told us this mural looks childlike, and they're upset because this cartoonish mural is being painted on an adult store, and they think it's going to attract children. I decided it was time to go down there and get some answers. Unfortunately, all I found were more questions. Would this, in fact, attract children? Why a pink beaver? And how much for that flashlight? Well, we built the building, and it ended up just this huge white concrete block and was very unattractive. And not unattractive, but just plain in an industrial area. Um, so I wanted a mural on it. Started reaching out to people, um, including Jesse Smith. Uh, Miguel was coming up here from Puerto Rico to do a guest spot at the shop, and he was like, dude, I really want to paint a wall. Every time that I travel, I try to paint a wall anywhere that I go. So I asked him if he wanted to collaborate with me, or maybe he had a wall. I uh, hit Allison up and asked her if she's still interested in a wall, and she was stoked. We talked on the phone, and he asked, you know, what I was looking for and what ideas I had, and I told him I loved his style. I was pretty open. The main thing that I wanted was I did not want to piss anybody off. <laughs> I definitely didn't want anything lewd or just, you know, overtly sexual or in people's faces. You know, Miguel does a lot of women. I do a lot of animals, so we're trying to figure out ways of, of doing a collaboration where both of us we could do what we did best and still kind of have them work together. So I had this idea of a girl kind of like laying on a pillow, kind of snuggling. Uh, and this one I had a beaver. Then another one here where she's kind of like laying on her back, playing with a bunny. And the composition we ended up landing on was kind of the girl just uh, sitting in the woods, you know, kind of feeding an animal because I thought it would be good to have a tree stump over top of the windows and the doors. It would be a good, you know, good way to kind of like almost hide them. So we ended up doing that. I had a squirrel here on this particular sketch, but we did end up going with the beaver. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is we've been getting a lot of shit about the, uh, uh, the, the beaver being pink. I do actually enjoy doing pink characters, and my girlfriend is constantly trying to get me to make my stuff more cute and feminine and stuff like that. So I figured this was a good opportunity to kind of get her to help me out. So we ended up going with the pink just based off of the fact that my girlfriend thought it would be cute. I took a printout of the, the overall wall and then, you know, these, this is actual size of the doors, the door and the two windows. And then I just tried to position the stump right around it. And then this is a nice purple, which really works out with this palette here, the purple mailbox. Uh, and then of course we got the pink. So all these all these colors work real well. We have like the we decided to go with the teals in the back. So that I showed a couple of people around the shop. My beaver, you know, I work with some amazing artists here, and I mean they had kind of kind of all kind of agreed on the fact that they felt like the the beaver could be pushed a little bit further and kind of. Uh, you know, it didn't have the, the oomph that a lot of my other character design does. So I started kind of sketching over top of it, you know, and just seeing if I could get a different type of, of head on there that would, you know, be a little more cute and just not. This one looks kind of a little more evil, I guess. So this one I felt like looked a little more cute. And then I worked over top of that one a little bit more and I ended up with this guy. You know, Allison had asked us for something that wasn't uh, overtly sexual or, or just anything that would cause controversy, which obviously uh, wasn't the case. The heat was coming from all directions, but nothing could stop them from painting until this guy. Jason and I were just sitting there, you know, bullshitting. Jason was actually about to take off and uh, he 
drove in and he, he came in. A lot of people had come by the mural and just amazing. wanted to compliment us or just ask us questions about it. So I didn't think anything of it initially. And he just came up and the first thing he said was like, did you paint this? And that's what, kind of what everybody says. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I just want to let you know I'm, I'm, I'm really not happy with, with what you guys are doing here. It got to a point where I was like, I need to record this shit. You know, like, <laughs> so I asked him straight up, I said, hey, you know, we're looking to get different perspectives on this mural. Would you allow me to, to interview you? And he was like, yeah, sure. And so I pulled out the camera. What is your issue with the mural? The issue with the mural is the child looks, the child, the young lady is selling adult novelties. I'm saying this is, but selling things that are for adults, right. not for young children, and that, to me, is disturbing. Have you been in there before? Never have. So how do you know what's going on in there? Adult novelties, DVDs, and lingerie. I actually, he started, he was like, I'm done with this conversation, and he started walking away, and I, Jason and I just started laughing, I turned my phone off, and he blurted out, he was like, he blurted out some crazy shit like, you're a pedophile or, or something. And I was like, oh man, I gotta pull this camera back out. I pulled it back out and right before he got into his car, it was like the golden shot. Hey, that you think that's decent, you're a pedophile. And then the, the funny thing is, is like probably, I don't know, an hour later, I was painting the wall and he came back in a different car. Jeez. And when I saw him, I was like, shit, man, what's <laughs> You're like, that's a crazy guy. I was like, this dude is gonna shoot me or something. So I was actually, in my mind, I was planning on hitting the lift all the way up to the roof and jumping on the roof and running across so he couldn't shoot me. I mean, these are the crazy thoughts that were like going through my head. But the first I heard about it was when CBS 6 contacted me and they said they'd gotten a complaint um, and that somebody was concerned that it was gonna attract, you know, children or whatever. All right, so who was the girl modeled after? The main one was a picture of Jesse's girlfriend from the general pose. Then I had my friend that I took a picture of from the waist down. And then for the right hand, I had another girl. She actually is a waitress in the restaurant that I used to go a lot in Richmond. So I took a picture of her hand and I mixed three of them. You know, and, and we're, we focus a lot on the negative stuff, but the, for every one person that had something shitty to say, there was 20 people that come by and be like, oh, it's amazing, it's awesome. Um, you know, constantly people honking their horns and waving while they're driving by. I mean, it was, uh, it, was a, it, it was a good experience overall, you know, and I think the controversy just makes it that much more interesting.